All right, Riel, thanks. And we turn now to the Trump presidency and a major development late last night. A federal judge has temporarily blocked President Trump's efforts to end DACA. DACA, of course, the program that protects young immigrants from being deported. CBS 4's Hannah Doba has more on how immigration reform topped the agenda during a meeting between the president and congressional leaders yesterday. In an unusual move, cameras were rolling for nearly an hour on Tuesday as President Trump worked with Republicans and Democrats to hash out a DACA deal as part of bipartisan immigration legislation. He kept reinforcing we need to be fair to the DACA kids. He used the word love. Last fall, the Department of Homeland Security said the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, allowing young people brought to the U.S. illegally as children to stay and work, would be phased out starting in March, a move quickly challenged in multiple federal courts. But late Tuesday night, a federal judge in San Francisco ordered the Trump administration to start DACA back up while the lawsuits play out in court. You know, I feel, I feel bad for some of these young people. Uh, I think they're used, being used as a bargaining chip uh, for, to do immigration reform. Democrats pressed hard to get the DACA deal done first as Republicans zeroed in on border security, ending the visa lottery, and limiting immigration based on family ties. In exchange, the Trump administration is asking Congress for $18 billion for more border security and to build a wall. Without the wall, we cannot have border security. After the ruling in favor of DACA, the president tweeted, As I made very clear today, our country needs the security of the wall on the southern border, which must be part of any DACA approval. The Department of Justice says it will continue the fight to end DACA in court. Anadoba, CBS News.